come undone She didn't know what she was headed for And when I found what she was headed for Last fall, I started to put my head around how, you know, every year we bring our tactical teams in and our drug guys get intelligence information and they identify these large plots where the marijuana is and then they go out and they eradicate it. So what they do is they take the product off of the ground before the bad guys who've invested all the time and energy into it uh, can get it off and, and get it on the market. So I thought, okay, why don't we back it up to the spring? And much like the RIDE program, RIDE is a wonderful program. The difficulty with RIDE is, is that you can truly not measure its success because it's a deterrence factor. So as an example, if you had 10 couples that were going out on New Year's <coughs> Eve and they know RIDE is out there, um, if nine of the couples say, well, we're going to take a taxi, we're going to have a designated driver, we can't measure that. But if the one couple make the poor choice of driving up to the ride, it's great that we get them off the road at the time, but in my view, ride has failed because the deterrent didn't work. The enforcement part will work. So we took that ideology and we applied it to the, to the dome. Okay, why are we waiting until the fall? And uh, we did, it's like being in Nebraska. You know, the corn's going on the ground and everybody sits back and goes, okay, well, is it going to be a bumper crop? We'll wait and see. <laughs> the problem is, is that these guys are armed, not for the police necessarily, but for other bad guys that want to go in and, and steal their marijuana. And they booby trap large plots, and they're not doing it in your backyard. They're doing it out on crown land and near swamps and all the rest of it. But the problem is they're coming in and out of this community, and we don't like it. So we're going to try and put a stop to it. So what we've done is we've backed it all the way up through our intelligence information, through drugs and uh, the Organized Crime Enforcement Bureau, there is a window of about three weeks where what they do is they grow their marijuana from seeds in grow up houses in the greater Toronto area, and they transfer and import their marijuana up here when they're clones, much like your tomato plants. And in a window of about two to three weeks, always after the frost threat is done, they'll put their product in the ground. So we've really ramped our focus up on the front end of it, I've got brochures here today that I'd like everyone here to take. Take one for your neighbors, okay? Uh, we'll be leaving them with council for the, the municipality. And it's the do's and don'ts of what to look for. And for God's sakes, pick the phone up when you see some of this stuff. It was, it was, it was too late. She's coming down. She cloud her mouth and that was far too high. And when she found out she couldn't fly.